Now you, in analysing businesses, uh, have, the, have a phrase, uh, small losses that can really hurt your business. Yes. Uh, why is this a small loss that will possibly hurt this business? Well, it's, I got the expression small losses from, which is the opposite of kind of small wins, which we, most people would understand. It, but the idea behind all this is that these are the tiny, small things that can actually just make a difference, you know, and they can be, they're frustrating, you know, they're easy to fix and they, they cause a loss because they cause a loss to the business and they cause a loss to the customer or the consumer because you go, look, this is so silly, you know, it's, it's kind of, everyone loses, it's kind of a lose-lose. But, um, you know, when you, you know, when you've, you want to buy something and the, the business makes you wait in line. And you go, why am I waiting in line? And, um, and they don't have enough staff on. Again, it's a, it's a small loss. Um, it's something where it takes away from the business and it takes away from you enjoying the product or service. I can understand where they're coming from. You know, as they, as they say, Fridays is a busy day and the office is full of about 30 people all wanting to check out and the staff are overwhelmed. Yes. But what would be a better way of handling that situation? Well, I think there's um, lots of different ways. Things like, you know, in hotels, for example, they have a little card which says if you want to automate it, if you want to do it online, um, maybe they should just put on staff between, you know, particular hours. Maybe they give an incentive that says, for example, look, if you, um, if you booked out first thing in the morning, um, you know, you might get 1% off your bill. I'm just making that up. But you could use a lot more creative ways to, to, um, to do that. Maybe you could allocate some time to say, you know, um, why don't you book out? We're allowing you some extra time after lunch so you can book out, um, you know, after lunch rather than the rush in the morning. So I think if they put themselves in the shoes of the customer and look at their business, I think they could come up with a whole range of different ways. And the other thing they could do is just actually ask some customers, you know, ask some guests what they would like to do. Ken Hudson, thank you very much for your time. Andrew, my pleasure.